blows out the candles and sets the castle on fire! <laughs> Excuse me, what? Mr. Edgar, sir, but you see... Smudge, what are you doing in here? And who is that? Uh, Smudge is a character I created, but I haven't found a story for them just yet. Uh, hmm. Characters do not belong in the writing room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wendell is right, Smudge. Uh, run along now. Uh, I'll find a story for you soon. Don't fret. I've got a spot in my story about an ogre and a goat herder. Although, <laughs> it doesn't end well <laughs> for the goat herder. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, I uh, wrote a story of my own. You wrote a story? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think it's pretty good. But you're a character. Characters don't write stories. They, well... Oh, they're like puppets, dancing to the author's words. Oh, but I had this idea. You see, there's this kingdom where everything is... <sighs> oh. I mean, there's this magical thing and... My dear Smudge, writing is very difficult, even dangerous work. What goes into the world book, well, it changes the world. You need years of experience and, and training, or you can make a jolly big mess of things. Better to leave it to us, hmm? Oh. The idea. A character writing a story for the world book <laughs> is preposterous. Yes, quite wrong. Oh. Oh. <sighs> They're wrong. A character can write a story, and I'm getting mine into the world book.
What is this? These aren't mine. <laughs> oh, that's quite good. <laughs> A talking teapot. <laughs> Theresa, did you write this? Ha <laughs> ha, the crumpets fire lava? Seriously, who wrote this? <laughs> What are you doing in here? And who? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just try that again. Oh, I've got a spot in my story about a goat. No, no, I don't. <laughs> Oh! <sighs>